Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, and uh, it is a privilege to come to you and present uh, Pinoy Power Hawaii here on the beautiful uh, studio of Think Tech Hawaii. I want to thank the staff and, uh, of course, uh, the entire Think Tech Hawaii for giving us the opportunity mm -hmm. to uh, have our show of empowerment. Our mission is uh, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain. Of course, the big word for us is to empower. Today, we're going to do just that with my three wonderful guests. And they all have uh, their own stories to tell. Uh, it is a pleasure to have uh, two queens intertwine. <laughs> well, three, if I three. may lift my own uh, bang, banquito or bench. And I say I am a former Mrs. Hawaii Filipina also. Today we're going to highlight uh, the reigning queen, uh, Sarah Luz Hosaka, and uh, of course 2018 Queen Janet Duhashe. Duh Duh check, check. I'm having problems with these um, <laughs> uh, last names that are foreign to me, but uh, it is a pleasure to have you on Pinoy Power Hawaii. Welcome, Mabuhay. 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 Salamat po. Thank you for um, Thank you. having us today at the Emmy. It is, uh, it's an honor. Thank you. Thank you for uh, taking the time out to uh, join us on your very busy schedule. And as a former UFCH Mrs. Hawaii Filipina, your plate is full, yeah? Very. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's fun. Yes. It's very fun. Uh, and it is. Yes. Uh, it is the highlight of your reign. As a queen, and I'm sure that Janet can relate uh, to yes. the exciting year. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I told her it's just the beginning. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's great to have a buddy, a support system. Mm -hmm. That's where King Jimmy comes. <laughs> Supporting <Yeah>. cast. <laughs> Supporting cast. So let's start <clears throat> from the uh, beginning. Um, tell us about your growing up and mm -hmm. how you met uh, Jimmy. <laughs> Um, I was born in um, Manila, Pasig City, mm -hmm. Santo Alan to be specific, mm -hmm. and I was raised by my grandma and my mom. Mm -hmm. um, we came from a very simple life, um, humble, um, humble beginning or life, and um, growing up with um, raised by mom and grandma, mm -hmm. we pretty much. Um, Educate for uh, education for us is a key to success. Um, um, they they instill with me the not just being gener generosity to others, but mm -hmm. to help other um, um, and less fortunate people, um, neighbors. You know, mm -hmm. remember growing up, we have this called fiesta mm -hmm. and um, Christmas Day, where we cook. Everything for the entire barangay. Mm. So we invited everybody. So man, no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so we, whether you have it or you don't, um, mm. um, our my grandma always think that you have to give back to the, to the community. Mm -hmm. So that's the service. Your that's my ongoing motto. On, that? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to help one another and those that are less fortunate. Very. And yes. That's something. Uh, talaga na it's been passed on by your Very, grandmother. Yes. Oh yes, mm -hmm. So tell us about uh, grandma a little bit. My grandma is. Um, she was half um, Chinese. Mm -hmm. Um, in Czech, in Czech uh -oh. and Spanish, uh -oh. and then my grandpa is half um, Spanish and American, so he was um, U.S. Army. So we're very, very blessed and fortunate to have someone like them, very solid foundation. My grandma is a person where she will buy like five sacks of rice for the community, uh -huh. <laughs> and then um, give you know to everybody, uh -huh. um, and very humble, very humble and. You know, and I think so that's So, talaga still yung yes, uh, values, values of sharing. Yes, uh -huh. very, yeah. very wow. much so. Great Lola. Very great. Uh -huh. so, um, raised by Catholic family mm -hmm. and very, um, I think it's, we're just blessed to, to know a lot of people in our mm -hmm. community, in our city. And we give them mm -hmm. that um, food, um, anything, service. I think it's more service uh -huh. of our giving. Yeah. That's why our show is called One Day at a Time, yes. because uh, when you give, um, when you help others, mm -hmm. you, you take it yeah. one day at a time, right? right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, King Jimmy, what's your role? 
<laughs> Tell supporting us. role. Supporting this, role. <laughs> this whole journey has been very, very um, humbling, but very exciting. Um, so I'm so proud of her and her accomplishments. And, you know, what she wants to do with this title is to, to do better things. You know? mm -hmm. And I guess with the title and the crown, I guess your voice becomes louder and you know, she can make a bigger impact. And I'm so proud mm -hmm. of her. And you have a platform. <laughs> it's been pretty busy. Yes. Pla <laughs> yeah. My platform, or her platform. Yeah, my yeah, platform is more. Wherever she's going to go, I got to go. <laughs> right, right, That's my right, platform. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what time and where? And is it warm attire or is it a little attire? It's all mm -hmm. I need to know. Yeah. You look good in your barong, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm time. glad you own one. First time. Uh huh. Was, yeah. Yeah. I, I did insist that you were a barong today, but I've, I've seen your barong, Thank uh, you. which was crafted, uh, tailored just for you, yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah, custom made. Yes. And uh, by the way, speaking of uh, tailor made, uh, your turno was very elegant. Who was designer of your turno? His name is Jerson Dema Vivas, uh -huh. um, and he is the um, fashion designer of Catriona Gray, who is the Miss Universe. Oh, no wonder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could spot <laughs> right away. I mean, uh, my, my winning gown was designed by Edgar Madamba, yes. and, you know, it's how you wear it. Yes. I'm going to yes. flip to uh, Janet. Uh, yes. Tell us about your role as 2018 Mrs. Hawaii Filipina. That was a busy year for me, mm -hmm. and uh, at the time I had my own business, yeah, foster home. So you had, I you had. talk like it's past tense. Yes, uh -huh. I had, and okay. um, at the time I had a difficulty going out and attending stuff, but I managed it, mm -hmm. and I managed to go to Philippines mm -hmm. and outreach some um, uh, childrens in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and participated one of the a uh, town festival, which was, which was awesome. <laughs> in Isabella. In Isabella, mm -hmm. yes. It was uh, nice. It's, a, it's a opened a lot of doors for me, mm -hmm. like reaching out this kind of um, community services. It was a great experience. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, tell us, uh, you can speak Ilocano here. I uh, do. Tri language, yeah? Yes. Uh, Ilocano, Tagalog. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, growing up, nababak nang di pamilya yo, wano kasagat kami na korapay? Oh no, na korapay po. Mm -hmm. Na korapay kami. Mm -hmm. um, Tinagan na kuman nalon. And, um, nasapa na nga, I mean, nasapa na nga na ulila. Mm -hmm. I was 19 when I lost my parents. My ma, I mean, my dad. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, growing up, um, Na pintas iti impa eda kada kami nga, um, what you call that? Uh, Sursuro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Sursuro, like, um, managtulung ti tao. Uh, Jiharapan ti balay mi, di sango balay mi, uh, pagururain da iti katao nga agururain ti logat na mapan ili. Mm -hmm. So, no, mag... dadap dadapunan, yeah. Yeah, pagdadapunan. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. habang agururain da no kalugan da, mabisinan da, no, na, Na danon dati pangal dawen, kanda mm -hmm. penangan, ayaban may suda, ilot pa may suda. Pakanon me, taniinang ko ide oran nam amom punan na. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, so I grew up that way. Mm -hmm. So it, it uh, brings our. The uh, values, yeah. To hospitality. Help. Yeah, hospitality, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you've felt that all around, Jimmy. Uh, mm -hmm. Although you look like a Chinoy. Actually, <laughs> culturally, I've become more Filipino than my or heritage is Japanese. But uh -huh. I've become more Filipino. I'm really immersed in the culture. And Great. I really appreciate the Filipino mm -hmm. traditions and the cultures and, you know, family. And mm -hmm. um, the Japanese one would say maybe it's a little mm -hmm. more rigid and more proper. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, I really embrace the Filipino, mm -hmm. you know, culture around me. Yeah, we dive right into it. Yeah, oh, gosh, yes. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I, I've seen you. You're a great sport uh, because whether it's the farm or a formal uh, setting, uh, you're gonna have a chance to go to Malacanang and uh, visit uh, our uh, our president's uh, residence. Very yes, excited. yeah, we're excited. We're looking excited forward for to that. Yes, Very much we so. are. Next month. Next, Next month already. Next month, yeah. we're um, we're we're so blessed that we're. We're going to an um, ambassador tour, mm -hmm. and so I'm really excited for that. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. So um, how did you prepare yourself? Uh, I know that you might have had a lot of reservations, like I, I didn't know what was my platform going to be right, until yes. you know, I got closer. Yes. Um, in fact, last year I was approached by one of, um, one of the 
I, I would say, like a pillar of the Filipino community, mm -hmm. Ate Maggie, and um, at Jessie's um, restaurant. Mm -hmm. And that, I think that was May of last year, and mm -hmm. she goes like, hey, would you like to join Mrs. Hawaii Filipina at the time? And I said, oh, not for, um, I don't think so, Paul. But more and more, I'm meeting with um, a lot of, um, I'm attending a lot of organizations, mm -hmm. events. Um, I started with Moharlika, the FAMAS, um, mm -hmm. and me and Jimmy were one of the um, tabulators at the time, so mm -hmm. I was introduced with different people, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, start liking, oh, I, you know, it's giving back, not just giving back to the com community, but I wanted to meet a lot of Filipino in, mm -hmm. in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, I've been here for 18 years, but never attended any... 18 years? Yes. And it was only last year that right. I seen you? Yes. I mean, we attended a lot of events. In fact, we would yeah. compete in a lot of these, right? Yeah, before. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. It's just like, I think I just wanted to be with the family, quality mm -hmm. time. Um, we have a son like, who's 24 years old now. I think... Oh, John Papino. Yes. Uh -huh. So our focus is more like him and our job and our quality mm -hmm. time. And I think we have more time now mm -hmm. just to, I guess, me, just spread my wings in a different level. Mm -hmm. And um, meeting more on the Filipino, attending the Filipino events. Um, it's giving, it, it seems like I'm in the Philippines and I'm loving mm -hmm. it. I feel like <laughs> backwards, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I, you know, I wanted to learn more about the history. I, le I want to learn about the culture. I wanted to learn about the di diversity of the Filipino mm -hmm. here in Hawaii. And, and I said, you know, in January, I think, I said, yes, mm -hmm. why not? Because I wanted to really give back to the community. You finally agreed to run. I, yes. Uh -huh. And from there, you uh, took off running. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> from there, I uh -huh. didn't really expect what I'm getting into. Yes. Or I didn't know what I'm getting into <laughs> yeah. until I'm there. Like, yeah. okay, um, it's not all about the crown or sash. It's yeah. all about like knowing the Filipino mm -hmm. here in Hawaii, getting to know them, yes. getting to know me and the purpose. And mm -hmm. it's not just about how I look. I just want them to really know who I am. Uh -huh. um, what's my, not just my platform, it's just my ongoing um, right. goals and ambition and mission. I know, yeah, when you had agreed to run, you were determined to do what it takes to uh, uh, live your, uh, your goal as far, yes. as, far as continuing yes. uh, to help others. Yes. That's why when you asked me, Ate, would you help me? <laughs> they asked my daughter to run. So you remember I kind of looked at you and just kind of oh, smiled? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. oh, okay. So I told my daughter, maybe it, it, it's not this time, Anak. You, you have to wait for your time to come because uh, certainly this is your year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you had the whole community uh, helping, really giving you full support. Right, yes. yeah, Julie? That was very yeah. evident. Yeah. Very uh -huh. supportive. Enough. Very supportive. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I, um, it's really like I can't. I can't believe that everybody is in, in one roof and everybody's yes. like so supportive. They open their arms and they're so embrace us. And mm -hmm. like what I said, I'm so new to the Filipino community mm -hmm. and I can just feel the love. They really yeah. welcome you with open, open arms. arms. Yeah. Open arms. Yeah. Um, yes. Janet, I don't know if you had the same uh, overwhelming experience mm -hmm. because no, honestly, for us no. it was different, yes, right? Yes, uh -huh. mine is different. Yeah, yeah. Because, we're gonna come back and talk about that yes. uh, because uh, everyone have uh, different experiences. But yes. at the end, it's always a win-win situation. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. I want to thank my guests for uh, taking the time to be with us and share the success. It's a way of empowering others when we share these stories of uh, trials, uh, triumph, tribulations. Uh, but overall, it's an experience that will uh, carry us for a lifetime. We will be back on Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson. We'll be right back. Aloha, I'm Sharon Thomas Yarbrough, a host here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. <laughs> Hi, hi.
Aloha, I'm Gwen Harris, the host here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of the supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. Welcome back to Pinot Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson, and it's a wonderful show of empowerment. In fact, I have to act regal because I am among the queens, and uh, <laughs> King Jimmy is sitting right in the center, center of attraction. How are you liking it so far? I'm enjoying it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's been exciting, and we're meeting some wonderful people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's just been an incredible journey. Um, mm -hmm. Just to see the generosity and the support of people mm -hmm. that you'd never expect, it's amazing, and it's really empowering. And, uh, you know, we want to take that energy and refocus it and do something good with it. Mm -hmm. well, you know. mm -hmm. um, uh, Jimmy, not to put you on the spot, but are you a yes man uh, flow with, or uh, do you carry your managerial role and say, <laughs> Hey, I'm the manager. You listen to me, or else I'm gonna fire you. Fire you. <laughs> At 5 p.m., that rule switch is over when uh -huh. I get home. <laughs> and obviously, she's very strong personality, which is I good for her. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, very understanding and very fair. So mm -hmm. I kind of let her take over a little bit mm -hmm. uh, up until a certain point, and then mm -hmm. I make sure I'm kind of co-authoring certain uh -huh. decisions. But yeah. Yeah. So it's all about being balanced. We're, we're, team, we're a great team. We're, team. Yeah. we're so Good. balanced. That's we're important. Team. I'm glad you mentioned yes. that because it's really, really important. In order for you to succeed, you have yes. to have that winning team and yes. attitude. Yes. You know, my husband uh, let me be the boss, but <laughs> he's a silent. Uh, uh -huh. He's a silent controller. Right. You know, uh -huh. I, I know my role and make sure I don't go overboard with yes. that and mm -hmm. step on his ground, mm -hmm. yeah? Yes. Because he was a vice president for 50 years oh. at mm -hmm. the Prudential Financial Services. He was a so, check and balance yeah. for you. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to finances, <laughs> he is the man. He is. <laughs> I spend it. <laughs> Let's get back to uh, uh, Janet. I know yes, that uh, I, I noticed that the whole community really came out in support uh, and uh, really... Uh, supported you for your year, yeah? yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. it was different in our time, right? Yes, it was it's very different. competitive. Yes, mm -hmm. it Tell is. Tell us. It was because um, what happened is that I wasn't really planning because that was my third time actually. Mm -hmm. But uh, one of the contestants uh, declined, mm -hmm. and you know that's the time that they um, approached me again. And probably, you know, the third time, I said, maybe I'm going to get this crowd this time. So, mm -hmm. yeah, for, um, for a short time, yeah, they supported me, but it's not as much as they supported Sarah. Yeah. Sarah is overwhelming. Sarah was overflooding yes. with yes. support, which is, which is great. And yes. uh, I think this is the way, uh, I think part of it uh, was to also support uh, Jimmy, mm -hmm. who is not Filipino, but uh, acts like one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. he, he so, spark is so Filipino. Yeah, yes. that's good. Uh, Jimmy, what's your favorite uh, Filipino dish? Adobo sinigang. Adobo <laughs> and sinigang. Kare -kare. Wow, kare kare, yeah. Sisig is up there too. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know your stuff, man. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. With what sauce? Alamang. Alamang. <laughs> you better know that stuff. That. Yeah. <laughs> well, to me, that's the Filipino caviar. Yeah, it's good stuff. Caviar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good flavor. Filipino <laughs> caviar. Uh, so, everything that. that you see in the Filipino community, uh, can you relate? Uh, or were you born with the gold uh, platter or silver spoon in your mouth? I mean, growing up in Hawaii, I've already kind of already the melting pot that we are here in mm -hmm. Hawaii. So, you've already mm -hmm. seen it. I've had friends that were growing up when I was mm -hmm. in grade school, mm -hmm. Filipino, and all the Asian cultures, Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. By Chinese and you know spend time in their households. I was really accustomed to a lot of you know diversity in terms mm -hmm. of cultural and traditions and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, so no, that's not a surprise from okay. what I've seen, but definitely I'm really immersed in that now. Mm -hmm. So know. if there's one trait that would stand out, Jimmy, what would that be? Oh, just the caring and giving and mm -hmm. selflessness of a mm -hmm. Filipino, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. person. Yes. 
Okay. So it's in line with uh, Sarah's. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tradition of carrying it on. Uh, Generous. Uh, mm -hmm. Blessing others. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have the opportunity to do that like we have had. Uh, every year mm -hmm. I, I made it my mission to go back every year. It didn't just stop when my rain stopped. Mm -hmm. It continued. Yeah, sure. um, yeah. there are now we support uh, St. Joseph Orphanage in the Philippines mm -hmm. where there are 19 uh, orphan residents wow. that uh, depend on us. And others are also requesting. So perhaps, you know, yeah. the children, children are the hope of our future. And mm -hmm. I'm sure you agree with that. Right. You know? right. Yeah. Right. So you, you might want to yes. uh, carry the other offerings yes. yes. that I can yes. support. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Of course. Yes. That's one of our goals anyway, just to continue to have, um, you know, supporting the Philippines back home. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're more fortunate here. So why not mm -hmm. give back to the homeland, to our homeland? Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, with the remaining time, let's talk about the legacy or uh, the traits, characteristics, values that mm -hmm. we want to pass on to our children, our future generation. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you leave your son? I think just to, um, I, wanna, I want, not just for my son, but mm -hmm. for everybody, just to take care of ourselves. Um, going to... Um, um, to take care of ourselves, going to the doctor for um, any preventative, you know, that's my one of my um, mission mm -hmm. and goal. Mm -hmm. My one of my platform is to to have a life that we can we can look back saying that you know what, I'll not like we help the homeless, but also to take care of ourselves, to take care of others. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's really important mm -hmm. um, um, to be healthy. I, I agree with you yeah. in that sense because health is wealth. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If if you don't have your health, how could you go mm -hmm. out and help, help others, others. Yeah. if yeah. you are yes. sickly? Right. So, um, and we, to have a, I'm sorry, and to have the healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you can balance your between your family, your work, but at the same time, you take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, those three. I'm glad you mentioned yes. that yes. because uh, you know there's a great example. Filipinos are natural caregivers, right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We spend the time. We take our patients, our clients, yes. to the doctors, but yet when it comes to us, They're the caregivers, yes. we forget to uh, yes. forget refill ourselves. our cup. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And yeah. we, we're surprised. We I've said, been there. You know. Yes. Oh. She died from cancer. Yeah. Why? She was a caregiver. She yeah. brought everyone else to the doctor. Yes. Neglected mm -hmm. Yeah, she neglected yes. herself. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really important for me. Really, yes. really important. Yes. You know, yes. and it, it goes to show nga halang ang ipanggap iti kwarta when no kinabak nang nga dete mabaling nga gatangan iti kwarta no dete dete kinabak nang pinang taripato iti bagbagita yung our overall health, which is well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, as a former caregiver, do um, you yes, think you'll both. ever go back to uh, doing that? or? Um, I'm not so sure, Ate, because I don't know if I'm going to Okay, I want to Okay, I want. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry mm -hmm. with the words. I want to go back to it. I saw that I was a very active family. I want to go back to it. Nakakulong ang adagos. Mm -hmm. What breaks my heart, dumakdak ko dyan ako, tapos, hangko, hangko maatendaran, dagita, kasapula na tayo eskwela, no, mm -hmm. dati awards na, mm -hmm. hanak makapan. Mm -hmm. Agpaspasugnod to dahi ubingan, mm -hmm. agsang-sangit ton. Iso so, nga, when, iso nga napanunutak nga, ha, isar din ko pa lang ti Agaywan. Mm -hmm. I-focus ko pa lang nga umuna ti pamilya. Pamilyan. Yeah, iso mm -hmm. nga, Tay Jai, nagdakal ti nagbaliwan. Yeah, yeah, uh, because the monetary reward kind of spoils you yes. to be able to just hey, mm -hmm. oh, okay, I can afford that. Mas masit tiki ta, but mm -hmm. it's okay. The kalidad. Yeah, the kalidad ti pamilya ti importante mm -hmm. hanga kwarta. Very good. I'm glad you came yeah. here to uh, uh, share that. That uh, sometimes you get so wrapped up. Yeah. No, oh, kasi nung mga Ford nta dito yung Mercedes, dito yung Jaguar, mm. DJ Palacio, material, you know. Material, yeah. uh -huh. It's all and, material things. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. all the worldly material things yeah. that we all get caught up with. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to family values, yes. what is what are the messages that we're sending to our children yes. when we cannot be there for them? And they build that uh, resentment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Balinda nga. Good no. Mm -hmm. Isong nga tata nakafocus na kaya anak ko, family. Mm -hmm. How many yeah. children do you have? 
Malabon. May may isa. Bogbogtong. May may isa. Bogbogtong. When is the girl coming? Um, Sarah. Jimmy? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, I'm 47 out there, so. Hey, miracles do happen. My auntie gave birth when she was 50. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So there's hope, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you're going to create a princess. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm counting on my son for that one, too. Oh, okay. Add to the family. Uh, grandfather. Yes. yes. Uh, okay. All right, so uh, let me start uh, with you, uh, Janet. What's the uh -huh. legacy that you want to leave behind then, that very important message? To, um, to the community. Mm -hmm. I think the, um, to my family and to the community as well. I think it's the value of a family that um, ma a material thing is a, only a second, you know, mm -hmm. or a third. God is the first and family is the second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as long as trabaho ka, mabiro ka nyo ti kwarta apo. Ngamiti pamilya saan. Iso nga ti, maibagak lang, kada kayo nga, amo yung nga, mabaybay ang ti pamilya. Mm -hmm. uh, an ano nyo ti kwarta, no, nga naragsak ti pamilya. Well said. Couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. It's, I totally agree with you yes. on that. that uh, you know, money is not everything, but it's money close to first. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, you need it to survive. Yes. That's a means to okay. survival. Yeah. With the one minute remaining, I'm going to leave it to you, uh, Sarah, to close our episode. What's the value that you would value like to Value, just be yourself and, you know, um, take the time to spend time with your family and take care of yourself. And, like, what I said is, like, um, I'll you know, balance, you know, mm -hmm. you have to balance yourself between health and your family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Live life to the Live fullest. Live life to mm -hmm. the fullest. Awesome. You said it all. Jimmy? Live, love, laugh is, is my advice. Wow. L-L-L. Yeah. 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 Live your life like it's, um, uh -huh. you know, it's like it's <laughs> tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Love and give back because that's all we have, mm -hmm. you know, is each other yes. as human beings. And then mm -hmm. laugh means enjoy your life and do yes. the things that you want to do and mm -hmm. don't hold back because Jenny live once. Yes. I couldn't agree with uh, you more. Uh, thank you for sharing from the heart and adding to our empowerment because these are the type of messages that we need to be reminded each day. And uh, with that, thank you. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat thank you. po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maraming, maraming thank you. Po. Thank you again uh, for joining us on another empowering episode of Pinoy you know, Power Hawaii. Thank you, uh, Queen Janet, of course, uh, Jimmy, and uh, the reigning uh, 2019 USCH, Mrs. Hawaii Filipina, Sarah Luz Hosaka. Uh, much mahalo. Uh, maraming salamat mga kaibigan. Uh, with that, mabuhay, mahalo, and God bless.